I'm here today in Washington, D.C. as President and CEO of Children's Specialized Hospital. Um, we serve 17,500 children in the state of New Jersey, and we primarily serve children with disabilities. Children come to us who have suffered traumatic brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, or who are born premature. For us, health care reform is, um, is a mixed blessing. Um, we live in a state uh, in New Jersey where there have been tremendous benefits offered to people with disabilities. Families have told their stories over and over again and it, it has worked in reference to crafting a program that truly meets their needs, although not completely adequately funded. Given the pressures that states are under, um, we live in risk. We live in risk as a state that has done and invested and made great things happen for kids, that all of that hangs in the balance. Um, many states are trying to catch up to where we are, and they see this health care reform as an option to do that. For us, we are scared to death that um, this fabric that we've woven together will not hold. Um, as we look at the challenges that are before us, there are many. Um, keeping services open uh, is, a, is a huge challenge. Um, our foundations fund all of our services just so we can stay afloat. Um, being able to continue the great work that we've done, um, we now save children uh, through medical technology that we never thought possible. Um, I have the privilege to be here today with a little girl who was born at one pound four ounces. Uh, ten years ago, she would not have had a name except on a death certificate. Today, she will tell you her name and anything else you will listen to um, because she is so full of life. Madison deserves all that we can give her, and we have an obligation to make sure we tell her story over and over and over again. This is not about dollars. This is about people. And as much as pressure as Congress and the state legislators have on it to make those budgets balanced and make the dollar stretch, um, we as hospital CEOs and executives have an obligation to make sure that face is never lost in this conversation. And it's hard. It's hard to do that because I come all dressed and ready to go. Um, but Madison comes with her full heart. And she will take that to um, the Hill tomorrow and she will tell her story and hopefully that story will resonate as members have to make those critical votes that they will have to make over the coming years. We have a lot of work to do. We have created um, a wonderful health care system that promises everything to everyone. It costs a lot of money to do. And we need to make sure that those people who have the smallest voices or in situations like the children we serve, no voice, that they are not lost in the struggle to balance the needs of all.